Now I would like to explain to you that um, Red Arc control panel um, It will go dark as you can see um, to save power So to wake it up you can use either of these buttons here to actually wake it up You know on the main page and um, um, you can see basically all the circuits that you have that you can actually turn off um, We will go in a little while one by one. So I will explain to you what that means This is your state of the house battery. It's 98% full um, You have a green Sun which means you have currently only solar coming in which there wouldn't be much because it is a rainy day um, your car is grayed out because you're not driving, you get no charge from the alternator and your electricity, your mains plug is also grayed out because you're not plugged in. Your fresh and grey water tank are both empty currently. This is just um, a monitor of a build that is not completed yet. Um, so basically your main information all on the front page. You have here your circuits, lights 1 and lights 2. So they are not currently on and I have to wake it up again because it has gone dark. Um, so when they're light green, the circuits are on. If I turn them off, now the lights are all off. So light switches won't work um, because the circuit is basically cut. So if you turn them back on, lights two is the LED around and the lights one is the square lights in the middle. So you can make your choice if you want to leave the circuits on at all times and turn the lights on at the switches or switch the lights off completely on the panel. This icon here is your um, hot water. So um, to turn your hot water heater on, all you have to do is turn it off now and now it's back on. Turn it off, turn it on here at the control panel. So you have a whale heater, a gas cylinder. A cylinder heater um, which runs on gas and on electricity. We have here your rail heater control panel. So you see here on the left is gas operated, here is electricity operated. So if you're running it on gas, if you're at the Freedom Campsite, turn it on right here. Make sure your gas bottles are open. If you're on the commercial campsite, you're plugged into power, you can have it either on 40 degrees or on 60 degrees mains. And again, to turn it on and off, it's right here at the panel. Then we have here, what looks like a radio is your entertainment units, your TV and radio that needs to be on if you want to watch TV and listen to the radio. This icon here is Wi-Fi, you only need that if you do plug in a modem. The modem is already pre-wired. Um, you've got some wires in this corner here in this cabinet right next to your satellite dish. It's all ready to be plugged in. But if you want to activate the modem, then you have to push this button here to switch it on. This icon here, the circuit is the USB charging points. Turn them off. You have one over here, right around the corner. I've turned them on so you have a blue light coming out of them. So if you want to charge your phones and your notebooks, make sure that you have the USB charging circuit on. You also have them on either side of your beds. Um, that's, um, you know, in this case here, it is two single beds, but you also have them on both of either sides of your island bed. So make sure if you want to um, charge your phone that you have this on. Now you see there is a green arrow down here which means hey there is more going on down here. So here is your down button and you've got a few more icons here. This one here means oven so it's a thermostat and the sun which means oven is the oven circuit. You need the oven circuit for three things basically. Um, one is for your rain shot otherwise this wouldn't operate. Um, another one is your igniter for your um, for your um, 
your, your gas oven and the third one which I can't show you right now is your gas detector so if yourself if you're really safety conscious and you want to have the gas detector on at all times it is very much recommended that you do leave the oven on at all times the oven circuit so I'll leave that on this kind of sad looking face here is a 230 volt outlet and it means your inverter. So if you do have an inverter in your motorhome, then this is the switch to turn it on. And that means inverter is now on. Um, there is another, I'm gonna show you another video where it shows how to um, switch the system from main system to inverter system. Turn that off now. Um, here we have one more that looks like a tap and it is the water pump So um, if you want to run the water, then of course you need to have the water pump on So this basically is the main panel with your main Functions that you need to know um, very very simple and um, you can have this on your phone with a red arc app um, and if you have it on your phone, it is even simpler. Um, but so far, it is really not much to um, remember.